Unity recently announced that they're introducing two new physics models for Unity in 2019. One is called just Unity Physics, and the other is called Havoc Physics. Both of them are a part of DOTS, which is the data-oriented technology stack, but they have their own differences. So in this video, we're going to quickly check what's new, what makes them different, and which one you should use for your project. Now, we're going to get started by looking at Unity's blog post for the new physics solutions where they basically announced this and then we'll enter unity real quick very short time to see the new unity physics package because it's available but before we do that I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Trevor Wernish Trevor is an asset store publisher who makes assets around UI user experience and interfaces he has some really neat UI packs on his page with very nice and indie friendly price tags his packs are very out-of-the-box oriented meaning that you can just drag them and drop them into unity and you're ready to go. And these aren't just raw graphical asset files, but they're actually complete packages. Like for instance, his friendly mobile UI pack is 4K ready, has all expected interaction types with all prefabs, over 40 window and layout elements, and 600 plus icons included within a single font file. If you guys want to check out Trevor and his assets that are available on the Unity Asset Store right now, make sure to click the link in the description. So this is how Unity started their blog post, quote, During our GDC keynote, we announced our partnership with Havoc to build a next generation physics system for Unity. Today, we want to give you more details on what we've been collaborating on. And then they continue by describing what the main differences are between Havoc physics and Unity physics. I want to quote them on this as well, just to make sure I give you guys full and accurate context. They say this, quote, when we first set out to build our data-oriented technology stack, or DOTS by short, we wanted to empower creators to build rich, interactive, and dynamic worlds. To achieve this, we needed a high-performance data-oriented physics system. Through our collaboration with Havoc, we were able to develop a brand new physics engine built on the DOTS technology. This allows us to create physics simulations that are scalable, deliver exceptional performance, and are compatible with modern networking needs. The new solution consists of two offerings, Unity Physics and Havoc Physics. Unity and Havoc Physics both interface with the DOTS framework, which means that although they serve different production needs, it is possible for a project to seamlessly transition from one solution to the other or use them both simultaneously for different use cases. Both solutions benefit from the same powerful, accessible tools and workflows Unity users have come to rely on for their real-time interactive content. Now, if you guys want to check out more information on DOTS, I will link a blog post to it in the description box of this video. But if I have to summarize what DOTS is in very basic terms, because this is a video for beginners, right? It's simply a solution and a model for Unity to improve performance and graphics simultaneously. It includes features like the Entity Component System, or ECS by short, the Burst Compiler, and stuff like that. I also think that it's really cool that we're going to be able to seamlessly transition from one solution to the other if we want to use both of them, or if we just want to like transition from one to the other. Or we can use them simultaneously, basically meaning both of them at the same time for one single project, which is really cool. We have also seen a very nice use case for DOTS with Unity's new demo called Megacity. If you didn't know, I have a video covering what Megacity is, so if you want to check that out, you can do so by going to the link in the description after this video. We have a bunch of links in the description today, folks, so <laughs> feel free to check them out. Now, before we get into Unity to check out Unity Physics, let's also take a look at what Unity says about both of these new physics systems. They say this about Unity Physics, quote, The Unity Physics integration represents the default physics system in Unity for DOTS-based projects, and it's currently in preview release form. It's backed by our own DOTS physics solver and written using the c -sharp DOTS framework. By using a stateless design and not leveraging caching, we are able to simplify the complexity of Unity physics, empowering people to easily tweak, modify, and learn as we evolve the system. Our goal is to give the power back to you as creators and let you easily extend the system to meet your production needs. The Unity physics system offers the following. 
The cacheless design is compatible with network rollback architecture for input cri cri <laughs> I can't. critical simulations such as fighting games, first person shooters, etc. <laughs> what was that all about? Interoperable and data compatible with Havoc physics. Unity physics is available right now via the Unity package manager and is compatible with the latest 2019.1 beta release. And that's actually what we're going to check out in just a moment. And then finally, they say this about Havoc Physics, quote, the Havoc Physics integration represents a high-end solution for customers that have more complex physics needs. The solution is backed by the industry-leading Havoc Physics engine that powers over half the top titles of this console generation and brings a wealth of performance and stability enhancements for complex physics simulation needs. <laughs> there are so many difficult words here. They're not difficult, actually. They're just long. I'm like losing breath because I'm kind of getting sick, or I am kind of sick at this point. And then they continue by saying it uses the same C sharp dots framework as Unity physics, but is backed by the closed source proprietary Havoc physics engine in native C++. And the Havoc physics system will offer the following. Caching system provides stability and high performance for complex scenarios such as stacks of dynamic rigid bodies, system of rigid bodies constrained together, fast moving rigid bodies, and scenes with lots of dynamic rigid bodies. And for this one, it also says interoperable and data compatible with Unity physics. And finally, the Havoc physics package will be available later this summer. So. When Havoc Physics package releases, I'm gonna make a video or make videos on that too, depending on how many you guys want. So if you guys wanna stay up to tune and make sure you don't miss out, feel free to hit that subscribe button below the video. Finally, they also mentioned this, which is worth bringing up here actually, quote, our vision for the future of physics for in Unity is to provide a complete physics solution that supports new workflows for creating, editing, and debugging physics simulations. We see this partnership as the next step in empowering you as creators to build these rich, interactive, and dynamic worlds. All right, so here we are in Unity 2019. I'm using 2019.1. OB6, so 0 beta 6. And if you guys want to use the same version, you feel free to, but you don't need this. Um, you basically just need one of the latest versions of 2019.1. So once you have a project like this open, um, what we're going to do is we're first and foremost going to enter the package manager so we can go to window and browse down to the package manager. And in here, what we want to do is we want to go to advanced and make sure show preview packages is ticked on so it's probably going to be ticked off by default i don't know why <laughs> actually uh it should be ticked on though so tick it on and then we can browse down a little bit and you're gonna now see a option called unity physics so we're gonna click on it and hit install all right so once the package is installed i'm just to mention by the way i'm not gonna do like a full-on tutorial on this i just want to have this as an overview but you can get started by clicking on view documentation, which is gonna bring up this website right here. So here is a little introduction to Unity Physics and about these documents. So you can read all the kinds of like information here. I'm most, or we are probably most interested in getting started. So basically it's going to walk you through how you can get started by setting up a simulation in the editor, or if you want to do something else like explore the materials, exploring the different shapes and stuff like that. It also shows you how interacting with physics bodies through C Sharp, so via the API for this uh, for the system is going to work out. So you have a full code kind of example here, you know, continuing here as well. And they give you some tips on using dots, like how it should be done. So one way to get started by is, for instance, I added this plane as a ground here and I have a cube to act as a physics body. So what we can do here is we can go to the cube and set up a new physics body component. So we can just press this and it's going to let us pick motion type from dynamic to kinematic static, just like the rigid body component, mass, linear damping, and basically all of these you know values and fields that are that are in the rigid body component already we can also remove the box collider component from this and add a physics shape component instead so here it's going to let you pick any kind of mesh you want so cylinder capsule sphere um you know 
a different type of mesh if you have a custom mesh or a box, for instance, which is the accurate one for our case here because it's a cube, right? And you can set all these fields like the size or if you want to do it manually. You can also fit to render meshes and you can do a bunch of different stuff like editing the friction. And you're going to see that we have an error here saying that the physic body component on cube is meant for entity conversion. Um, but it can't find anything here, so either it asks us to place this in a subscene or add the entity conversion component onto it. So we can add component, type in entity, and we can add the convert to entity component, and now the error is gone. All right, so that should give you an overview of how the new Unity physics system works and the fact that it's the Havoc physics system is coming this summer, which is super exciting. And once again, just to remind you, Unity physics is now available as a preview package in Unity 2019.1 beta. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to watch more physics kind of videos, because it seems like you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, but if you are, um, just confirm, you know, by leaving a thumbs up or a like on this video to show some support. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button below the video so you stay up to tune for new content, because I'm going to be working on physics a lot more if you guys want to have some physics content. Because I'm really interested in this topic, but I just want to make sure you guys are interested, you want to have more videos on this, and then I will feel more than free, more than welcome to make videos of that. And if you didn't know, we also have a Discord server for this community and for this YouTube channel, but it's not just for this YouTube channel, it's basically for the whole community, as in terms of being a game development community. So if you're in game development, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, and you want to be a part of a community with over 10,000 members right now, 10,000 like-minded people who like to chat, meme, literally do anything you do, um, feel free to go to discord.gg uh, forward slash polyrealm or you can use the link in the description. And I would also like to give a huge thank you to all of our Patreons who make these videos come true. Richard Stamps, Kupla, Flu Joey, Bitter Die, MakeAGame.com, Couch Ferret, Glassville Entertainment, AcademyOfGames.com, TerrorRift.com, and John Funnel Grid. Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make more videos, so you guys rock. Now, with that being said, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all found it helpful and enjoyed watching. Um, once again, if you guys want to see more physics related videos or these topics and more like Unity news and releases and all that good stuff, let me know by leaving a comment down below in the comment section and also leaving a like on the video. So I'm going to be super active in the comment section and in our Discord server. So hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a good night and peace out. Yeah.